All right, so what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ashes, The Rebirth. So um, I'm just going to hit y'all with a couple of the new things that I have going on. So one thing is um, here recently, Spirit has been speaking through me as a vessel based on um, the frequency in which I'm vibrating, right? So for those that are along their healing path uh, in another place, right? Um, but Spirit also, of course, right? Th there is a space of mastering some things so we can assist others. So y'all know my work is based in rediscovering your authentic self um, for the collective, but really uh, targeting uh, the divine feminine, right? So that's that's who I come and, and can speak for because that's who I get messages for. And if I get one for divine, fe uh, divine masculine, then of course, you know, I speak to it. But um, I'm, I'm here as vessel in, in this moment of my life, I know for sure, for the divine feminine. So um, for those of you who are not the couple of readings that you've heard recently, you're not in a space where you're ready for divine feminine to come in or you're not in a space for divine masculine to come in. Those are things that at some point in time in life, of course, you may want. We're human, right? The companionship of it all. But if you are still in the place along your journey where you know there is still some, I need to heal the insides of myself. I can't include nobody else. Or I've already made this mess of everything and we're already together. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still want to like cleanse some things or make it better for all of us here. If you have somebody that's willing to do the work at the same time, if not, as you're doing your healing, let me preface by saying it's going to knock some people out that you might want to be on your team. But spirit is saying it, it, you can't I can't I can't get you further right here. Right. Um, so for those of you who are somewhere there where you still feel tattered, you still feel torn, you still feel like you're, you're just so fragile and broken right now. And, and I'm in I'm in need of, of some saving. I'm in need of some some saving grace spirit. Stop by here a little while. Like like can you see me? Can can you feel me? Do, do you know do you know any kind of way that you can communicate with me? Because right now I don't see you, I don't feel you, I can't hear you. I'm starting to believe you might not be real out here. Okay? For those of you who are somewhere in those broken spaces along your journey, right? You want the kiss of peace, right? But, but it hasn't really filtered in yet or, or you can't see it or feel it. I want you to know that, that, that the work that I've put into my journey was to heal myself. And once I realized the magnitude and power in it, I vowed in covenant to God to, to trust and believe everything. Every word that it is that you give to me, I'll speak it as long as you say it's real. Right? I trust every move you tell me, mate. You tell me go left today, I got to go left even if I want it to go right. If you tell me in the middle of left that you, you, you need me to turn around and go this way, well, then I'm turning around to go that way. You see what I'm saying? And, and yeah, I'm asking questions along the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling my feelings. Yeah, I'm going through my go-through. Yeah, I'm in my highs. But all at the same damn time, I'm very aware of what the inner work has done for the outer for me. What the perspective on the inside for me, how it allows me to live in the everyday, even when the everyday is, is a icky fucking mess. You see? Okay? So in this moment, Spirit want to talk to all of y'all. Okay? To say, first of all, you ain't alone. Hello. <laughs> I'm right here. Right? Spirit speak to you. And although you might not have thought it was coming in this face. Okay? <laughs> Chubby cheek at all. <laughs> this is how your message coming through. You see what I'm saying? And it may come via other ways too. I just know in this moment. Right here. You, you and I. The collective. That is you know in a space of healing. Where, where, where they can offer something out of their overflow. Oh we understand and we stand in the gap. You know, over with the, the, the divine feminine, we talk over there about the, the, the wailing women, you know, the sisters that's out here, that's, that's the master of the thing. And you've, you've seen the triumph. You ain't gone nowhere, right? Because when we, when we won bad, we all bad. When we won good, we all good. So over here on the side where we talk to divine feminine, y'all already know what it is, right? We, we stand in the gap one to another. We, we, we link arms up like when the ancestors come through, right? We, we link up, right? All right, so here's what I came on here to tell y'all. <laughs> I gave y'all a word, <laughs> but I came on here to tell y'all that every day now, because I've been slacking on like TikToks and different things because the, to do this work, I got to get some heavy hitting work done with Ash. You see what I'm saying? Then I can come forth as 
okay, you are, you are rebirth now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So my cycles are, I'm very aware of my cycles as, as being this vessel, but also being a woman and a mom and, and a human out here. Okay. <laughs> um, so I want to get into doing some things that are going to feed us, but in some real practical kind of ways. So follow me here. And if y'all like this, let me know. And I'm going to, I'm going to make this happen for, for us. Okay. So every day on TikTok, I'm going to take this, you know, jar that I have on my working altar. And I have these um, affirmation um, cards. Um, I'm, they're wellness and spiritual um, guidance cards, okay? And so in them, they have a variety of affirmations and a variety of different maybe yoga poses or body movements or activities that you can get into for that day. We'll, we'll dig in the jar each day, you know, real quick on a little TikTok. Dig in the jar, see what the movement is, see what the affirmation is, and we'll make that a point for that day. And we'll do that daily with each other or weekly with each other. And y'all can join in with me or you can join one of my workshops that we're about to do where you learn to create your own cards, where you learn to create your own activities, where you learn in meditation how to hear spirit and that language, right, of how that sounds to you so you'll be able to have clarity with spirit yourself. That's a workshop. If you're not very clear about how to hear, hear spirit, that's something that's being offered. Say something in the comments. So I know you want to join, you want to register. I can get you the link out there. Okay. So what I was saying about creating your own thing, like if we do this on TikTok with the jar, with the cards I want, if you don't want to make your own, you don't have to. I'm telling y'all on Etsy, these cards are going up on Etsy today. Um, the 90 day healing workbook is going on Etsy today. I'm hoping that the printers have that done. Um, so that we can have finished, nice, glossed uh, copy of it. I'm excited about it. Where you don't have to work one-on-one -on -one with me. Some people don't want to do that. I'm going to offer the workbook now on the Etsy shop so that you're able to purchase it and work along it on your own. And if you so choose to reach out, then after that you can, right? But um, back to the cards and your creativity and it being a form of meditation and, you know, a way for you to really have a space of devotion and hearing what spirit is saying. Now, this could be for the divine feminine and the divine masculine that are ready to incorporate partnerships, opportunities, people in your life. But also for those of you who are really trying to get into a space of being healed and getting whole. So then you can transition into the part of the healing journey, which is, ooh, all this newness and good. Yeah, let me get dripping, right? But before that, the work, right? This is a deck that I created myself, right? And in here is how I map out... Um, some of the, the remedies that I may provide for a client or for myself. Um, so um, here's what we're going to do. This is what I'm telling you this for is because there's a workshop. I have tons of thoughts in my head. There's a, there's a workshop that I'm going to be putting up so that you can register for the workshop, okay? Um, and with this workshop, what it's going to be is it's going to be us working together. So this will be a live workshop. This isn't going to be like a recorded webinar like I've done before. But this will be a live workshop where we're going to work together, learning spiritual language, and at the same time, doing that through a very creative way, right, um, where you're able to really construct and, and figure out how your mapping is going to go and how you'll be able to hear spirit, to diagnose, and then remedy the thing as opposed to needing someone else. We're building our space of um, spiritual awareness, spiritual awakening within the divine self, right? Um, it's nice to have the guidance, right? That's what spirit has us oracles out here for. But for the purpose of making sure that that you become so full within your, your relationship and stance and hearing the, the spiritual language between you and source for yourself, that, that you're getting it straight from the source, not from, you know, another vessel to you, you know, um, it's only for, for a moment of time. So those are, um, number one, creating the deck. You can take that workshop. It's not creating a deck, but it's, it's, uh, tapping into your spiritual language, right? And then having the creativity of, how we're going to construct this for myself so I can come back to this in times of oops and, and, and things going on and, and my mind might forget, but because it's here, I can kind of see it and I can work with it, okay? So that's to build that spiritual wherewithal um, and your wisdom there. And then these, of course, um, can be for purchase. The front will tell you what the activity is and then, you know, on the back of it, it'll go in detail if need be. And then some of them are just um, full out affirmations. Last thing before I hop off of here, and before a two-year-old get going, okay? Um, also on Etsy today is going up a few of the um, 
wound care uh, products. Now these are for the wound care line, okay? This is uh, our wound recovery, our, you know, for those that are that are healing or wanting to maintain or wanting to have sacred practices like we talked about with the full moon last night for the Divine Feminine. But th these are all womb products, okay? So this is a tincture here. Um, and then I have um, a few oils that are going to go up on the Etsy shop today as well. The, the, I make these right in my home. These are literally just a concoction of different herbs. Um, and different rituals and things that spirit has me do with them to help with different areas of recovering the womb, clearing out trauma, clearing out fear as you're trying to heal um, from womb trauma. Um, now, mind you, this is dealing with feminine energy, so there could be some masculines that need some of this product because there's an imbalance with the feminine energy that you have because males go through sexual things too, but the trauma isn't just sexual. It's also in the energy of uh, who did that, male or female, and what energy had been taken away or instilled in you that shouldn't have been there. Uh, all those are intertwined in, in that trauma, not just womb trauma, meaning you've been sexually, you know, victimized in some kind of way, okay? So those products are going up. Um, those are all natural, herbal, medicinal products um, that you can add to, you know, whatever practices you have um, in the moment right now. So anything in the description box, questions, comments, concerns, anything of that nature, put it in there. I just wanted to run in real quick before everything gets going with my day and I actually leave to make sure y'all know that because I know I'm getting divine um, downloads. So I'm going to have some reads and stuff to do today too. So um, that that's what's going on. In, in order to purchase herbs or anything else from the apothecary um, or to have any services um, and products that I provide, let me know. I'm putting everything up on Etsy to get things going there. Um, y'all know about the blog and everything else that I'm doing, y'all already know about. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube, subscribe. It's free content to heal. <laughs> free content to heal. <laughs> Excuse where, how, <laughs> okay? Um, get, glossed out, get glossed out today, girls, okay? Um, to the Divine Masculine, okay? Strut your strut, okay? Walk your walk, because we watching you. <laughs> Even if we don't say nothing, because the Divine Feminine right now, okay, we sitting back and we watching. <laughs> we watching a thing, okay? And we watching the Divine Masculine while he walk, okay? Because he out here working right now. This is, this is the sun energy today. Lift your arms to the sky, right? Head up high. And embrace all things that is the raw energy in this moment. We give thanks, right? To the Divine Masculine. And to the divine feminine and the pairing of both in this beautiful union that balances and heals us all. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand. We'll be beckoning unto you. It's your girl, Ashes the Reaper. Peace out.